Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is just a five minute quick takeaway of something that you've probably already seen, you already know how to do, but hey, I've just been using it all morning and I've run out. It is faux antique sticky tape. Um, you know how it gets old and yellow and it, look, it just adds that authenticity. And you can see how this morning I've added it here on that picture. I've added it here. I'm just trying not to get the glare. This is the second time I've tried to film. Anything to do with glare is not good, is it? And another little bit there. And doesn't that just add something? Just a little something, something. Um, where else have I used it? I've used it on here as well. Doesn't that look the real deal? It looks old. So, what I, how I did it, and you probably have already seen, there's so many people have done this, but I'll just quickly recap. I watched Heather at Rose Hill Paper Cottage. Heather did a brilliant um, scientific test on all kinds of uh, colours using alcohol ink. That's the secret. That's what you're going to need, alcohol ink. And that colour that um, I've chosen is Latte. But if you go and watch Heather's, she trials all different browns and yellows even. I just thought I'm just going to buy one and so I watched very closely all of her experimentation and I liked the latte. The next thing you're going to need is just ordinary sticky tape. This one's one centimetre wide because I noticed in really old documents the sellotape was only very narrow. And they only use tiny little pieces of it whether or not it was expensive or they just um, had that in mind I don't know but anyway nice and then you're going to need a piece of plastic this is just off an old um, document cover you know those work documents you get that you can just put together so it's stiff plastic this is a nice little bit that's even stiffer that I have on my desk the whole time and so when they, they're used and all you do is just get your sticky tape and put it down randomly on your plastic and you take your alcohol ink whoops <laughs> and you pop it on there <clears throat> now I use an earbud to smooch it around and I actually do mine twice first time I just color it lightly and then the second time I pull it so it dries super fast because it's alcohol ink the only thing I would say is um, Where's that glare coming from? Sorry about that. Is it smells, so use in a ventilated area. Some of you might even be um, allergic. And then I just do it again. How easy is that? One second. And I'm just going to leave that dry naturally, which will be very, very fast. And then I'll have it ready. I can, I can just cut that out and put it on my desk. And um, what else did I want to say? about that oh yeah the surprising thing is like these have been done you can put your hand over it when it's dry and you can press it down when you put it in your journal the alcohol ink does not come off I was shocked I thought it probably would it doesn't it is just like the real deal so there you have it a very fast quick and hopefully helpful and useful tip um, which is so simple sticky tape or sellotape alcohol ink I've used the latte color there's all kinds of different browns and yellowy browns that you can trial I could only afford really one bottle of the alcohol ink um, so and I try and use it sparingly and I keep it on my desk it doesn't take up any room whatsoever hope that's been of some help to you a great little trick for you to do 
and um, I'll keep working on my current um, stacked envelope file folder and I will probably do a flip through in the next video. So thank you so much for, for, for subscribing. Welcome to the new members. Thank you for all the tags on the Facebook group, Junk Journal Junksters Down Under. So pleased to have you with me and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See ya.